So congrats, I mean, to come back under these circumstances and get the win on this stage, like, is this probably the greatest moment of your career so far? Yeah, I mean, especially considering what I had to go through to sort of get to this point, you know, after suffering, like, one of the worst knee injuries in, in MMA to people counting me out, thinking I would never even be able to sort of compete again. And then uh, coming back to Cage Warriors, winning their belt for the second time, you know, and then getting signed to the UFC on two weeks' notice to fight. What an absolutely, you know, spectacular competitor Tyson Pedro is, an absolute animal of a fighter. Great guy as well, very respectful. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely elated. There was a lot of emotions afterwards when we were just chilling in, you know, in, in the back there. Uh, just because of what I've come through to, to get to this point. By no means are we finished, but, you know, we, we've obviously got a lot of work to do. But, um, yeah, to, to, to come back in such cir circumstances in enemy territory, even though the crowd were absolutely amazing. I love the Australian fans. Um, they, they, they showed me love after the fight. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was an amazing time. Um, the fight itself, did, you, did it play out how you thought it would? Did things go differently? Yeah, I, I was hoping to catch him uh, with particular shots, maybe a bit cleaner. But I definitely felt like I landed like a, you know, a good one or two like like solid shots. You know, I wanted to show my skill set more because I, you know, and show the switching of stances, which I've never done before, um, which I've been working on a hell of a lot since my knee injury. Um, you know, it's a bit harder because he's got a very heavy, you know, sort of right kick. Um, but yeah, like overall, uh, it, it was it was a good performance. Obviously, you know, there's things that you can work on, but I'm glad I was able to neutralize the grappling at the beginning uh, to, to to then go out and do what I had to, because I knew I was one round down. So, you know, in the second and third, I, I, had, to, I had to really put out there. I, I could hear my dad and Will, uh, my other training partners, screaming, uh, telling me like, come on, my dad, just, <laughs> you know, you need, you need more. So um, I'm lucky I have such an amazing team, an amazing family in my corner to, to help me in these fights. That's right here. Is the stance switching you said, is that because of the knee injury you had? Uh, not necessarily. I just realized that that's a big part of the game now. You know, you see Israel Adesanya um, using it a lot. You see a lot of other guys using it. You see even Volkanovski, you know. I, ju I just realized that, you know, Yuri Prohaska, all these, like, top, top guys, even Jamal Hill fighting out of the uh, orthodox stance, you know, in his last fight. So it's just something in the game that needs to be done. Otherwise, you, you won't be fighting and competing against the best of the best. So, you know, the, the quicker you get used to it, the better it is for you. Well, obviously, after you left the UFC and came back, I'm sure you still paid attention to the, the light heavyweight division. What do you make the, of the landscape from when you left and now that you're back? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's changed massively. You've got Glover Teixeira retiring, which is which is mad. You've got Jamal Hill as, as the champion. Obviously, he was a massive prospect. You know, uh, at the time, you've got guys like, obviously, who are fighting now, Jimmy Crute and uh, Menafield, you know. It's a very exciting, you know, light heavyweight division. You got even more guys out of city kickboxing coming through as well. Um, yeah, it's it's a very exciting division. There's there's a load of amazing fights, um, and I'm looking forward to uh, compete, compete, and uh, you know, make my mark in the light heavyweight division. Did you walk out to gigs? Yes, I did, sir. Well spotted, well spotted. I had a little uh, Gladiator remix with it. Do you know what? When I when I came out to my Cage Warriors title defense, I had it I had it lengthened because obviously I wanted the Gladiator part to be a bit more you know succinct. But it's okay. You know, we, we, we shortened it a little bit just because obviously the walkout's a bit shorter. But mate, how could you not want to fight after listening to Talking the Hardest? You know what I'm saying, sir? So. <laughs>